Hey, what's up, folks? Dylan here from PlasmaCuttersReviews.com, and today we're going to talk about the best plasma cutter under 500 bucks. Now, when you go on Amazon, there's a lot of choices here, right? And you could be like, man, I don't know which one to pick. Well, let me let you in on a little bit of a secret. A lot of these machines are the exact same machine, as weird as that sounds. This Prime Weld machine, as you can see on the front there, it says Cut 50D. I'll take a, show you a little bit closer. See how that says Cut 50D right there? If you take a look, a lot of these machines, Cut 50 you go to this one, cut 50. Oh, hey, look, cut 50. Oh, look, cut 50. These are all the same exact machines. They just have a, dinner, a different outer shell. They're branded different, but the internals are all the same. Very, very similar. You'll notice that a lot of the torches are the same. It's just a way to rebrand them and to sell them from a, a manufacturer that mass produces these. Now, there is one machine that's under 500 bucks that I recommend that's different from those machines okay they're a little bit it's a little bit different and that is the lotos ltp 5000d now the reason i recommend this machine is because it has the non-touch pilot arc if you're not familiar with what pilot arc is pilot arc allows you to take your torch of your plasma cutter and press the button and when you press the button it will start cutting it'll start the arc so you can begin cutting without it making direct contact to the metal now there's a lot of advantages to this and I'm trying to think of an example to kind of best uh, harness that type of power. But one of the things that I can give you for an example is when I'm doing metal sculptures, sometimes I need to shave off the edges just ever so slightly, right? I'm talking, it's like pencil lead, trying to, trying to scrape away at an edge so that I get it perfectly round or something into that effect. And this pilot arc allows me to start the arc and slowly move it toward the metal so I can get that real precise cut, right? Another great feature about Pilot Arc is that when you're cutting, it tends to allow you to not use your consumables as fast. When you have to touch your, your tip of your torch to the metal for it to start the arc, that causes a lot of blowback. And what that does is that a lot of times that puts extra wear and tear on your consumables and your torch. Here's the deal. Every plasma cutter, every expensive plasma cutter from name brand companies like Hypertherm, Miller, you know, all of those, they all have pilot arc. It's a necessary feature, but on these lower end machines, like these cut 50 D style machines right here, all of these, oh, that's a uh, consumables, but all these cut 50 D machines, they do not have pilot arc. Okay. And they do that to cut the cost because it's cheaper. Okay. But this Lotos one kind of bridges the gap. It's not as cheap, but it's a, it's a Chinese machine made with pilot arc. That brings me into Chinese machines. These are all made in China, okay? Including this Lotos, it's made in China. But what I can tell you, well, let's okay, let's talk about the problem with that first. The problem with that is that you have all these random brands, okay? And what's gonna happen is there's not gonna be much of a warranty or much customer service, if at all, simply because they're made in China, they're just pumping these things out, they're trying to make money off of them. And I watch these things go on and off the market all the time so you'll buy this machine this week come back two months later this machine doesn't even exist anymore it's not being sold okay but what i can tell you is that this lotos machine has been around for a very long time we're talking probably over seven years now i've seen this machine for sale what that gives you is it gives you the confidence that this company is still around you can still get some support there's not going to be a ton of replacement parts available but there are going to be some available but the consumables are going to be available and you're going to be able to buy those consumables many years from now because there's a lot of these machines out there. The problem is when these machines disappear, so do the consumables. And then if you run out of consumables, you're stuck with basically a paperweight, right? Which nobody wants that. So I can say that the Lotos has the best market share out of all of these, okay? It's been around for a long time. Now, the Lotos in particular, you're talking 50 amps. Um, it's dual voltage, but in order to get to that dual voltage, you can purchase uh, this pigtail. And I'll put links to all of these in the description if you're interested. Um, so you can have links to all this. But you can buy this pigtail. Basically what it does, it plugs into the machine and it converts it to a standard 110. So you can plug it into 110. Um, you won't get full the full 50 amps, obviously, out of that 110. You can only get about 20. But it allows you to uh, attach it to a regular wall plug which is really nice and then also uh, you can check out the consumables you can get a, a full consumable set here they're very cheap $13.99 but what I will say is that these consumables do not last as long as 
professional consumables like from Hyperthermal Miller stuff like that. And now that we're talking about price, I just want to say this machine costs about 400 bucks. Um, if you're looking for a comparable name brand machine, I have a video on on those as well that I'll post in the video description. But basically, your next step up is going to be the Hobart 27i, and that retails for about 1,200 bucks. Okay, but what you're going to get with that machine, you're going to get a more rugged professional style machine that has it's come from a name brand company um, consumables are widely available and it's going to be a company that's going to be here for 10 20 30 years from now so just to give you guys an idea of what your next step is that really is your next step is going up to that hobart 27i the next step after that would be the hypertherm power max 30 so i'll post that video down below if that's a route you want to take do i think that's a good route it really depends on who you are. If you're someone who's going to be using this machine in a professional environment and you're going to be using it, you know, 20 times a month, you know, 10 times a month, I think that it's worth going up and paying that extra money, paying that extra $800 to get a professional machine. However, if you're a weekend warrior and, you know, you're working on your Jeep, you're building a bumper or you're working on a roll cage or you're doing some uh, metal dismantling or something like that, a machine like this can have a lot of value. And to clarify, this machine, just so you know, all of these machines that I'm looking at do not have built-in compressors. So that's that's a common misconception among uh, new owners of plasma cutters is they think, oh, this machine, I just plug it in and it works. No, you need an external air source uh, for this machine, whether it be an air compressor or a compressed air tank. Not many people run a compressed air tank unless it's a, a special situation. Most people just run a regular air compressor, and it'll work just fine. And you don't need a huge, huge compressor. Even a little pancake compressor like the smaller ones can work fine for these. Um, just your duty cycle might be a little bit different, the amount of time that you're able to cut continuously. So with all that being said, is the Lotos LTP 5000D a good buy? Yes, I think it is. It's a popular system. You can check out the reviews. I'll post a link down in the video description to this Amazon page. Read what people have to say. Get people's initial, uh, initial reaction about this machine and, and what they like about it. I know there's a lot of people out there that have this machine and it's been working good for a very long time. Now, keep in mind, this is a machine from China. There are going to be some quality control issues. I would say with any machine from China, there's a greater chance that out of the box, you're going to get a machine where something isn't working right. But with Amazon, and I always tell people this, if you purchase from Amazon, their customer service is really great. So if you have any issues, you stick it back in the box, you hit the return button, they come and pick it up, UPS comes and picks it up, and you already have a new one in the mail before the old one even arrives to them. So I like that because it guarantees that you have a machine that works, and they're going to make sure that you get one that works. So Anyway, I hope this information helps you guys out. If you're looking for a plasma cutter under 500 bucks, don't settle for anything other than this one. I really think that this is worth your money if you're going to go this route. And like I said, the next step up is that Hobart 27i, which I will post that in the video description as well. I hope this helps you guys out. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. My goal is to help you guys find the best machine that fits your needs. And I'm always open to questions because I want to know what potential buyers need to know in order to make an educated decision. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching and good luck on your new machine, guys.